we just jump into the traffic view, this down here is atrocious. Whoa, buildings are collapsing, people are unhappy. So you've just started building a city and no matter what you do, you've just got traffic headed off into the horizon as far as the eye can see and you don't know how to fix it. Well, you've come to the right place. My name is Biffa and here we are in the city sent in by a lovely viewer, disgruntled vet who has a big traffic problem. And if we just zoom out a little bit, it's not the biggest of cities. It's one that, you know, you've probably had these cities, you've started it off, you've got some good ideas, you've expanded, but then suddenly traffic just hits you. If we just jump into the traffic view, this down here is atrocious, really, really bad traffic. You are already using Traffic Manager. You've told me that you've got Traffic Manager and you've used it in despawning mode, in hard mode. Oh, look at that. We've already got an autosave. I might as well have a quick sip of tea. And don't forget to check out BifferPlaysMerch.com as well. We've got Lane Mathematics, Hugo there, and autosave sip of tea merchandise. So for those that don't know, that means if we go into Traffic Manager over here, you've got this option, it's not highlighted. If I click that now, a load of these cars will despawn because that's vanilla slash easy mode. But in hard mode, nothing despawns. And that's when you get things like this. What do you reckon the percentage is at? I'm deliberately hiding it from you <laughs> so you can tell me. Oh, look at all that. Leave a comment below what you think it's going to be. No cheating. I will know if you cheat. We've got a campus up over here as well. So you've got some places you're going to expand to, which is good. All right, let's take a look at what the actual percentage is. It is 32%. Wow, that is pretty, pretty rough. Now you do have, as we can see in this view, you've got some metros here which are good so they're taking people around i remember jumping into got no buses you've got some metros which you know are used reasonably well let's just quickly have a look yeah lots of people waiting around at these lines so if you don't know people will come and they will wait at a line for you know bus metro train whatever if they wait too long they will then leave uh, which isn't very good so when you've got things like this um, you really need to take a look at that and try and change it. Now, I'm not sure what DLCs and things you've got. I play with all of them. So I've got lots of other options here. So these metros are 150. What I'm going to do on these is up into the subway train because they are 400. Uh, you've got four on here, which is fine. This is quite a long line. So we'll probably do four for now. Um, leave it as it is and let them spread out. Let's just take a look at this one. Actually, that one's not too bad. Lots of spaces. They're all spread out. No one's waiting too long. So we'll leave that one and line three. Pretty busy. I'm guessing. Let's just see where this stop is. It's right in the middle of your industry area. So people are using that one to come to work and then they're using it to get home again. And there's a lot of waiting uh, going on there. So what we're going to do with that line is we are gonna mm, i could just add one more oh we've got it up to 500 percent already so what we'll do then is we'll up that one as well uh to the 400 one the subway train there we go and i might just help a little bit to keep on top of that let's just wait for those to kick in there we go excellent whoa buildings are collapsing people are unhappy so we know with our rci or residential commercial and industrial and offices are sort of like a semi-industrial type sort of thing anyway, that people will travel from their residential, uh, they will go to work, uh, like over here, uh, and they will go shopping over here, and then goods go from the industry to the commercial. So this one corridor that you've got going down here is bringing everybody off of this highway. They've got one way in, they're mingling with all the industry traffic that's coming through here. They're all heading down this road, and then it is just a bit of a disaster. That is basically what's going on here. So what can we do to change this? Well, what I'm thinking of doing is you've got these six-lane roads going through here at the moment, which is fine. We'll leave them like that. I'm going to do a bit of an upgrade along here. So we're going to just force in an upgrade there, and then I'm just going to use the Move It mod to move these back onto there. If I hold Alt, they will snap to the road. Yep, there we go. And then what I would like to do is connect this road up. So we need to give people more options 
to get in and out of this area. There we go. That's perfect. So we're just going to take that around there and do that. There we go. That's going to come down here. I'm going to upgrade that all the way through here. It's going to mean we're going to lose some buildings, but that's fine. They will grow back in and then that can come out the other side. Uh, I noticed over here as well, you've done dedicated turning lanes, which is fantastic. So we'll come back and take a look at that in a bit. I'm just wondering whether, because we've got this road goes up and over the top, comes through here, and then you've got your industry sort of in there, out there. So that's also, I can see why you've done it. There's quite a few things you've done. So as the traffic's got worse, you, you've tried to deal with it, which is fine. But what's happening is, is them going out here is then hitting all of these people coming up here, which now we're giving extra options to. So I'm just wondering whether we should give them access to this road and have access onto the highway. So what we could do, there's a couple of things we could do. Let's do this and add that into there, like so. Um, I'm then going to change this road up and over the top. I'm going to add one of these. So now we've got this as another way in and out of this area. And some people here are going to come down here from the industry and come around this side. Where have you got all your commercial? So all your commercial in this area is down this main road, which is fine. Um, but we could probably, I mean, we need more commercial anyway. So we could just add like another stretch along here. I'm going to put in high density like you've got. Let's just remove that corner bit. Do you have zones and things? No, you haven't got any zones. You've got water pipes. Yeah, we'll just connect that up to over there. There we go. So we'll spread out the industry a little bit. And then this road down here, I'm going to do the same thing that you've done, which is give dedicated turning lanes. So all of these crossroads, I've got roads that are going to go in and out. And then up here, you've already done it, which is good. And then we want to put give way signs down here. Now, there's a couple of ways we can do this. You can do it manually. Or we can go into here. Traffic routes, junctions, adjust road. This is the one I want. So if we click that road, and then we can say, let's just check where that's going. So that's going all the way up to the roundabout, all the way to the end. Okay, I'm going to pause the game. I will give way signs on all the roads coming into that. So we're going to do that. And then at the end here, we'll just need to adjust... Uh, this one yeah so we'll turn that around the other way and then we know that went all the way round so all of these should be giveaway signs giveaway signs yep that's fine or yield if you are american same here same here but then the roundabout control shift and left click yeah that's set up fine you're stopping people from changing lanes in the middle there do you know what this possibly could turn into which sometimes is really helpful uh, when you've got like a road like this in the middle, which really isn't doing anything, we can just remove like all of this. Let's just, well done with the paths, by the way. Need the paths in for your people. Uh, we're going to remove all of that. And we're going to remove all of that. We're going to grab these roads here. We're going to make them straight. I'm going to, I don't think I need to toggle road bend in. And we're going to bring that right along the back there which means we're going to have to do a couple of little changes so it's gone from two roundabouts to an oblong about instead um let's just so what we've got here is we've got a fire station here there we go and then if we just double double check control shift left click there we go it sees it as a roundabout that's fine and then we could even just connect those two up I'm trying to line this up in the middle. It's not letting me. There we go. We'll go like that, straight through to there. There we go. Excellent. So we should now see these move a little bit quicker. I have deleted the power line by mistake. All right, let's just add that in. Let's add that in over here instead. So what we should see now is people whizzing around this a lot, lot quicker and hopefully be easier to get in and out but we'll see people are starting to use this road which is good that's exactly what we wanted to see and then let's just slow things down again and then down here where you've got these roads coming out onto here we do have the asymmetrical roads i'm going to assume that you've got uh, mass transit dlc 
So these ones here, if we put them that way round, so as well as you've got the dedicated lanes coming in, you've now got dedicated lanes going out. Oh yeah, you've done it on that one. There we go. So you do have that DLC. We'll do it on that one as well. Yep, you've done it going up there. So I'm just going to do like the whole section. And we'll see how that goes. And then I'm just sort of thinking, looking at how the cars are going, you're going to end up with a sort of a crossroads. So what's going to happen is people are going to want to get to this side. They're not going to just go around the outside necessarily because you've got it all connected through the middle. So what we could do to help with that is take a four lane road, one of these, and you might build up around this later at some point, but I want to run that from one side to the other. I want to do it where it's not going to cause a problem. I'm going to go along here and I'm just going to do that. And that's going to connect from one side to the other. You're going to have dedicated lanes in and out, both ends. We're also going to say it's give way on both ends. There we go, like that. So anybody coming in that wants to get over here can now come in, cross over, get over there, which is good. Look, this was all backed up down here before. People come in, not anymore, which is good. So you've got a lane coming. Oh, she's got bypasses here, haven't you? Yeah, you've got bypasses, bypassing all of this. That's fine. I can. I know why you've done that. But over here, it's all getting a bit hawky-borky. That's coming out. So these are one way. Oh, that's not being used. Okay, well, is that turned off? Yeah, that is. while that's not being used, I'm just going to disconnect those. And then if we end up connecting up again, that's fine. Okay, that's good. So now people are using this road a lot. We may need traffic lights. We may need roundabouts. We'll see how it goes. I mean, this down here. Now, see, this is a perfect example. So I think, look at all these cars coming down here. Let's see where they're all going. So we'll use the in-game traffic routes tool and we'll click on here. So all of those are coming down there and now coming up here. Whereas before, they would have all gone around there, been cutting through these roads. So if we just click on the road before that, we can see now, yeah, our traffic. So we've basically, from before, you had 100% of traffic coming down this road and going straight on. Now it's splitting some down here and some along there. So every time we add a new road, we were to get in and out, the traffic splits, which is exactly what we want to see. And I bet if we just run this a little bit here, there we go. See, there's not so many coming down this way anymore. I was thinking we'll add some traffic lights, but I don't think we need to. Let's just take a look over here. See, traffic lights there is going to be no good yet because this is all still super busy. Okay, well, let's have a look at this then. Let's find out where all of these people are trying to go. So let's grab this in-game tool again. And this time we're going to grab this road that's coming out uh, right here, which is joining the roundabout. Okay, so we are looking at, let's just break this down, trucks. So they're all coming down here. A lot of them are going to the highway, which of course makes sense. And a lot are then spinning around and coming down this way. So that's good. So could we give some of these people access to down here without them having to go through the roundabouts? That would be good. So that is something we could do. And there's nothing wrong with making this a crossroads so i'm going to grab that one and i'm going to bring that right along the back i'm just going to draw it out it'll end up wherever it ends out that uh, ends up so that's fine um i'm also going to change some of your roads that you've got here so if i bring that one up to here so now we've got ways we were to get in and out over here and what we're probably going to find if we just sort of speed the game along a bit i'm going to do that's automatic. We've got dedicated turning lanes. We'll do that. We don't need to give away or anything. We just want people to run through there, which is fine. Because what we're going to find is some of these... Which way are the roads going here? Ah, all the roads are literally feeding into this. So the only people that could use this are the ones that are up here. So these roads in the middle, we're going to... I hate doing this sort of forcing people with the one-way road thing. It's... Sometimes it works. Doing it in whole big chunks like this... So you could have people that at the minute are going through here, through this roundabout down here, to then cut across here and all the way up. When technically they could just come out here, join there and be out on the highway. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put all of these back to normal industry roads. But then these large ones coming in, I'm going to move you, because I know this is going to be an issue, over there. I'm going to make this one. 
So if I could do that without destroying anything, which I'm going to cheat again. There we go. So these outside ones, I'm going to make big like that. And these outside ones down here, got a metro there. I'll try and remember to move that. There we go. Oh, let's just turn that back on. Use the move it mod. That's my fault. There we go. Excellent. Can we line that up a bit better? Cool beans. So now down here, we've got two lanes going out, two lanes coming in, which is good. We want to just use this tool on this road. There we go. And I'm going to put giveaway signs on all the ends. And then what we're going to have to do is just check either end. So that one needs to be giveaway. So giveaway signs, everybody coming in and out, which is good. Um, I would say giveaway there. And that can carry on. And then I think that went all the way down to the end here, didn't it? Yeah, that's fine. And then we might just... I'm just going to manually do it on here because I know it's only a couple of junctions. I might come back and look at these paths again because I think I've messed up uh, a lot of them. So power's okay, water's okay, sewage treatment isn't. Is there somebody that isn't getting power? What have I disconnected? Oh, I've disconnected this over here. Okay, that's fine. That's an easy fix. Bit of a problem over here. That's that's a distance thing, I think, with electricity. Ah, there we go. I've added two solar panel units over here, and that's helping. And then we'll just make sure that they've got uh, water. There we go. So that's fine. So everybody should be okay now. Lots of everything. Let's just check the power one again. Lots of everything. Yeah, good. Okay. And we're still making money, even though we've got that whacked up really high like the way everything's moving through there that's good okay so yes where are we here we go look already the traffic is going down over here now that people have options which is good these i'm going to move all the way down here because they're right in the way and now already we can see things are moving well this here needs to be a traffic light and as you're using traffic manager we're going to go for time traffic lights, control, left click, and that will automatically set up a time traffic light, which will work better once this traffic goes down. But that should, if we just sort of keep an eye on that, help with everything going on here and getting a fair shake of the stick to get through. And then let's just follow this down here. Now, this is, this is something we can sort of maybe assist with. Just looking at this section here. This is all one-way roads as well, isn't it? Ah, let me do the same change over here that we did down here, which is like almost fixed up all of this. Give me a second. And also now we can add another way in and out of this area, which is good because we want lots of ways in and out. Why not another one there? Fantastic. Let's just keep things running. And then we'll just set up this road down here. I'm going to do it manually this time. And then on the end here, I'm going to say give way. But again, we might stick a traffic light or a roundabout there. We'll see how it goes. Excellent. So now people can go where they want to go. Let's just drag those back. Let's just take that out. Boink. And just pop that next to there. Excellent. There we go. Power lines. I've disconnected them again. Um, let's just go into there. There we go. Excellent. Right. So how are things looking? What are we at? 59%. Fantastic. So we've got lots of extra places for people to go, which is what we want. This is moving smoothly coming in and out of here. So basically, the main problem is this bit because people are still coming up and down here with no other way through. Now we can again change that. Um, you've got the hill here. If we just pop that on. We grab this road. So we could sort of go up the hill. I mean it depends on what you wanna what you want to make, what you want to build, how you want to do it. Yeah, I want to bring that one out of there. We could just add another way for people to get in and out. There we go. Let's cut through the cut through the land a bit, but we can, you know, you could sort of work on that. Let's just smooth that out a bit. You've got a bit of terraforming you can do around there. We can build around there. I mean, there's all sorts of things you could do with this. This could help me to spread out into new areas of the map. I'm just gonna ever so slightly smooth that. And because I've got network multi-tool, 
I'm going to say from there to there, I want it smoothed out. There we go. Look at that. Much better. So now that is extra. <laughs> Why does that put a, that's like put a lump in it. Let's just bring that one down. So that again is extra ways for people to get in and out. We will make sure we've got that and that there. I thought you'd done it all the way down. You have here. We'll just leave it as it is. We don't need traffic lights. So now people might come from here and go up there and down instead of going through here. So again, more options, which is good. Wow, those traffic lights have helped this. Look, that is not backing up at all, which is great. And also going down this way is not backing up at all anymore. That is brilliant. And this is all totally clear. So that as it goes on, it is getting better and better, which is fantastic. You've done the lane mathematics through here. That is absolutely brilliant. We could have, see at some point, because you've got this connection coming through here. I would have this road connector there, but as you've not quite brought that square yet, what I'm going to do is this. Just run that through there. We're going to just move that police station around. So now you've got options for these people here to come up and go up this way onto the highway, or these people here to come down there and go up this way. So suddenly we're not making everybody go the same way. Now what you could do is you could make use of this and have it run in the opposite direction. Um, it might be that you want to move that this side. I can never remember which way they go in and out. But instead of connecting that down here, we could have that connect uh, through here instead. So we could go like that. We could go like that. We could go like that. We could delete this. And then we could make sure that that all turns around properly. So now we can connect that up. Um, and that could take your industry stuff out. Do you have a rail line connection anywhere on this map? What? Yeah, that's the only rail line. This one here that's coming in that we don't have unlocked yet. So that is why you put that thing down and then turned it off, which is totally understandable. You could still use that for internal use, but I'll be honest, it's probably overkill at the minute. So I would just leave it like that. Oh, well, there we go. We've done some growth. We've got to 22,000 and hit Capital City, which is fantastic. So I am just wondering whether a little teeny roundabout in this section might work a little bit better. Or hmm, let's have a look. Let's just see where are most of the people coming down here going? So most of it is industry traffic that's just coming to these commercial zones along here. Uh, public transport. Well, we haven't got any public transport going up and down. Private vehicles, again, this is their only way in and out. So they're all streaming up here. Okay. I think I'm going to add a little, little highway thingamabob down here and just see whether we can make this work. Okay, so I've just added this on here, very hawky-borky. I've just sort of connected it there instead of up here, just so it's a bit further down with that junction, but, you know, that's okay. Um, what we're going to do is change these end pieces. I mean, you could tidy this up if you wanted to, that's fine. So we don't want them going straight on. We want them going left and right, and we want give way, and we don't want... What don't we want? We want that so we've got a dedicated lane for each that way and a dedicated lane for each that way and then we're going to do the same over this side so no straight on there we go like that and then we've got lane mathematics through here these two are a bit too close together actually let me just change that there we go it's still quite close but we'll go with that but now we've got some lane mathematics so we're going to take this one here so we've got three this is really close to this one as well hmm so we'll have a look at that in a minute. So we've got three lanes. One goes off down to two. And then the same going the other way. There we go. And then back to three again. And then just to help with that where it comes out, we're going to say Hugo there. So you get a lane each. And Hugo there. And you can merge. 
Um, that is quite close to that one. That is a bit of a mess, isn't it? But it's it's going to do for now. Just to give people an extra place to come on and off. Let me just sort your power cables. There we go. Then you've also got your pedestrian paths, which were fantastic, going up and over the top of the highway. So we're going to keep those going as well. So things through here shouldn't get too busy. I think that one's got a traffic light, hasn't it? Yeah, let's just change that. Excellent. Very good. But that just gives people another option to come on and off, particularly coming in from this part of the city before they had to go through here. But now they can come off. They can come through here. They can take this road up the top. Lots and lots of other options which i think if we just let it run for a little bit what are we at 70 percent. that is brilliant we might find that that helps so i'll tell you what while that's going let's take another look at our trains here lots of use on the train so line one yeah lots of people still waiting i would say this needs i mean that's going to flip round to the end here any second is it going to pick everybody up not white so i'm going to add another couple of trains on there and then line two pretty busy here i'm going to add another couple on there in fact i'm going to put five and then we're going to up that to the subway train which gives us 400 because why not and then we'll go into number three that one's running perfectly well they're quite close together let's just actually quickly look at where your metro goes so it goes here it's got a stop in the sheffield district a shop a shop a stop here here so you're actually putting them on the main roads instead of through the center so this is where people live they're having to drive out to the edge to get the metro and this one here, you've got, look, I mean, this is all high density stuff. Yeah, let's just have a quick look at your metro. So I think what we might do is we'll leave this one coming in here. I'm then going to add another one along here and hopefully not destroy any rocks. Oh, that's not what I want. I want this. Hmm. Are we going to get in slope too steep because it's like going uphill? We can do it this side, maybe. Yeah, just there. So if I turn off anarchy, it'll get rid of the building. That's fine. And then we can have another one up here somewhere. Is that all sloped too steep? No, okay. And then that's going to hook round. I was going to have another one over here somewhere. <laughs> Come on, game. I'm sure you can let me pop in a... Oh, oh uh, uh, I saw it somewhere there. Actually, that will do. Right in the middle of that street there. Yeah, let me get those hooked up. So then I am wondering whether... Let's just have a quick look at what your routes are. We just jump into here and turn all of them off apart from the blue one. So the blue one is hard to see. So I'm going to change that to yellow. There we go. So that one loops around this side of the island. Yeah, this is the one we're going to change in a moment. Okay, so we'll leave that one. The red one loops around. Are they both going in different directions? So that one's going up. All right, well done. Yep, yeah, you've got loops going in both directions fantastic and then your purple one i think goes into this station then just goes backwards and forwards okay that's fine so what we're going to do is we'll put all those back on again uh, we'll go into here we're going to get the purple stop that's at the end here drag it over here and then we're going to add a stop in each direction there and so gonna let me do it there yep and we're going to do the same here because we remove those. No, hang on. Yep. Both directions. Excellent. So anybody here can now jump on and come to here. And now they can transfer. And this is getting quite busy now. So what I'm thinking of doing, let's have a look. Yeah, this is like a super, super busy one that's not quite connected up to the in there. We'll just do that for a second. I'm just wondering whether we could do something else here i mean you could end up having all these go into like a hub somewhere which i think would work have i just messed that all up possibly 
what you're getting, you see, is they're all backing up. They're all trying to come in and out of this section all at the same time. These ones are okay because they've got such a long distance to go. But these ones up and down here, everybody wants to come down here now and get into this one. So I'm just thinking what we're going to do is rearrange this little bit and make some use of this space that we've got in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring a road in down from this side. We're going to make sure that that's got uh, the extra lanes for going in and out. Fantastic. And then we're going to use this Metro hub. Yeah, I think that should be perfectly fine. So we'll do that one there. Now, obviously, this is a bit of a, a statement piece. You may want to build up around this, put some shops. You might want to move this back over to here so it's out the way and do some different things with this area, which, you know, is up to you. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these under here and I'm going to hook them in to this instead. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you something. Leave the game paused uh, while you're doing it. Uh, let's go to tunnel under here because you're going to want to mess around with your stops afterwards. So let's just give ourselves half a chance so that's now going into there so what we want to do is uh, turn that and that off so we can see our purple stop and we're going to drag that and that's now going to go into here so that's not going to cause us a problem um, and then this one up here I think we're going to have that yeah that's not mm, that is so such a big one it's such a big one I'll tell you what we're going to do I'm going to leave it as a loop, but we're going to hook it into here. There we go. And now I'm going to put these on and that one. Actually, we can leave that one on now because it's elsewhere. And we're just going to drag these over into here. So we'll have that one that side and that one that side so they don't cross over. Excellent. And now we don't need this anymore, which means anybody that's in here. I'm so sorry. There we go. So now all of this can run smoothly without any issues. That's probably got no water or power or anything. Let's just hook that up. Power might be okay. It's jumped across. Yeah, excellent. So now, as we can see, these are moving smoothly in and out and not getting in each other's way. Of course, when the save game is done, let's have a celebratory cup of tea. Why not? There we go. So let's keep an eye on these. And I think these all should work much, much better. And of course, people will walk from one side to the other, which is exactly what we want to see. There we go. I mean, you could even do this a bit different and have this as a loop like so. But having it as a point to point one, why not? People are always going on about that sort of thing. So let's do that. What I do want to change is up here. So this loop. We're going to change it. Like you've got shops right here. Let's pop a metro right there. Some other shops right here. We've got some parks and basketball. Will that go in there? No, which is a shame. You can go the other side of the road. There we go. Let me put that back on again. So instead of going up there, it's going to go through the middle and then connect over here. Do you know what? I changed my mind. I'm going to leave those there because we've got the plaza. We can add any other lines that we want through here. So I think that is going to work just as well. We're going to add this line through here, which is going to go all the way down. And then it's going to come. Oh, look at that. Look how happy they are. They love it. And then all the way back up again. So that's fine. So if we unmute, uh, unpause that. So we've got Metro line four. Do, 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 do. We'll go there. Don't know how many people are going to be using that for now. We'll put three on it. And then you could even have that come up and maybe come out at the campus as well, although that one there is doing pretty good. But I think that is going to improve things a heck of a lot as well. Oh, look at the traffic. Look at it. 86%. That has just all gone down. That is just brilliant. This is no problem at all. This, this way through here. Do you know what we could do at the minute? We've got like a... There's a bit for letting people across if we just wait. Oh, yeah, they're crossing when other cars are going. That's not too bad. And actually, there's more cars going straight on than left or right here. So at the minute, they're all sitting in that one lane. Not many people are going right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust this. And the traffic lights will adjust. So the lane that's cutting across the traffic will leave that on its own. But I'm going to make that one do two things. So now we see people using it twice as much. And I've confused them. And then also this one as well. We'll leave the one that's crossing the traffic 
as a separate lane, but we're going to have this one do two things. So then a couple of iterations of the lights later, once they've all thought about it, this is going to empty out. Look, so much quicker. And then the other way will empty out as well. When they get used to it, they'll use both these lanes. I've got a sneaky feeling there's a bit of you go there down here that's forcing people into certain lanes. Oh, yeah, I don't need that. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, no. Don't need that. Oh, that's how you did your dedicated lane arrows. No, what you can do is you just take this tool here, control shift, left click, and it'll just do it for you automatically. You don't need all the all the lines. Just checking there's no other random lines. The lines are like the worst way of doing it. Shouldn't be any others because I built all of this. This we didn't even need to touch because it was fine. This junction's working. This is working. There we go. And we can just watch this last little thing here. The lights change. Everybody gets through. So up here was the last one to get in. He's gone through. And some extra when they change. This car, that blue car there, getting through. People are getting through. Look at that. Everything's going well. Everything's going well over here. That's just busy. So what's the final percentage? I mean, you just let it run for a few minutes. 86%. I think that is 87%. Hang on a minute. I'll just let it run for a second just in case. It is going up. 88%. Yep, that was it. 88% was the highest. So I hope those uh, tips there help you to fix your own cities. And if you want to submit yours, then check out the link in the description below. And the video on the screen is talking all about the secrets of the new plazas and promenades DLC. As long as, as, as well as, I should say, the two content creator packs that have just been released too. I'm very excited about those. Thanks for your support. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.